Alright guys, today I've got a new ROM review video here. This is going to be on my Galaxy Tab 3 7 inch device. And this right here is called Crash ROM. So let me just go into uh, settings here. And I've actually already got it installed. I will go through the install directions for you later. But just to show you what we're running here. It is basically the stock ROM, except for it is... Um, like I said right here, Crash ROM version 1 and has all the cool tweaks and customizations in there for better uh, processing and customization of your Tab 3. Um, I'm still waiting for somebody to put out like a CM10 or a AOSP ROM or something good like that. Haven't seen that yet, but uh, one day hopefully we will get to that. So something I want to point out right here, you have a custom battery uh, right up there. Um, you can see your toggles, this looks pretty much stock settings through here also pretty much stock so some of the cool things with this obviously you do have root access with it and it has lots of extra applications that are really neat that you can install so let's go through some of them right now um, first one right here is called um, Adway and basically what it does is it takes the ads out of the applications or it doesn't let them update more precisely I think is the better way of looking at it uh, very very cool um, I like that uh, application a lot it's very easy to use so we're going to kind of just look through this. A couple of the other things you guys can see right here are app settings because this thing has exposed framework installed. So all these, a lot of these applications here work with exposed framework. You can see you have Greenify right down there, Hangouts, um, let's scroll over here. Some of the other stuff that sticks out, Super User obviously or Super Sue right there. Uh, Viper for Android, um, Equalizer stuff for audio, very, very nice. Two different uh, applications right there does come with exposed install like I was saying you do have ES file browser which is my absolute favorite file browser you do have right here L M T launcher which is allows you to do stuff like let's see if I can get it I think I have it working come on let me uh, turn it on just to make sure it's turned on here and we'll turn on LMT launcher and then you should have that right there and all the cool stuff that comes along with this launcher um, which basically what it is, is it's just these shortcuts to buttons and stuff like that you know you can get in here get into your apps and whatnot um, so very very cool that, that that is built into the application settings right there uh, let's see here into the ROM I should say um, other things you got some exposed stuff I actually installed this, this is exposed uh, status bar stuff um, but YouTube UgTube, not sure how that works. It looks like downloader, download YouTube videos, um, some picture editing and, and whatnot. So this is what comes with it if you install everything, which I will show you when I get into the install videos. Uh, the other thing I want to show you guys, which is really neat, is this right here, Crash ROM Extras. This is probably the beauty of this whole ROM right here is all the features in it right here. So you do have right here some quick things you can reboot, recovery, reboot uh, into download mode and some things right there on the bottom choose batteries so this is what I was kinda doing with here with the customization of the batteries which is very very cool uh, it does take a second to load up though and basically you just pick the one you want so I'll just change this one really quick and you can see my battery up there change in the top um, see if I can change pick another one here here's here's kind of a neat one see it change there here's another one changing so really simple you can just pick whatever battery one uh, icon you want just really cool nice easy stuff here's some other uh, CPU stuff and GPS fix a bunch of other things the battery controls and this um, AF firewall which does some real cool stuff you can get into that change ROM DPI for tablet view and some other things in there you can choose things and there there's your exposed modules and all your stuff with exposed which is just huge what you can do with it if you don't know how to use exposed check out my exposed um, framework installer explained video which is really good and recent and probably within the last week or two I put that out you do have enable init D you can activate that if you're running the stock kernel um, so other than that it's pretty much stock um, the other thing that was nice that they added in besides the reboot down there in that crash ROM extras you also have right here you can do reboot and you can reboot these different ways um, so just want to show you guys really quick what you guys are going to need to install this it's pretty simple have an unlocked bootloader or basically custom recovery installed if you don't know how to do that 
watch my videos on it. I've got plenty of stuff on it. Then you're going to download two files. I'm just going to show you where mine are at. Should be an extension, I think. Crash ROM right here. One is the ROM right there and the second one is all the extra apps that he took out of the ROM so you can run just the ROM and it'll just be some basic apps probably a lot of the Samsung apps will be removed or you can flash both of these and have everything that you see in my video here so that's what you're gonna do we're just gonna go ahead and reboot into recovery whether you do it this way or you hold the buttons to do it which is volume up home and power from a powered off state Either way, um, you can get into recovery. You'll, when you do it from a power state, you should see right up here on top a little thing in blue saying you're booting into recovery. But here you go. This is uh, Twerp Recovery, which is my favorite recovery system. And it's pretty simple. Uh, I would go ahead and make an Android backup, which would be under backup. Swipe across and create one. I have one in here already, so I'm not worried about it. Then you just go to wipes. And you do cache back, Delvic, come on, back, factory, Oop. back, then go back again, we can go back with that button, do install, and actually here's both of my zips, so you pick the top one, the ROM, you add one, pick the extras, you have two files, max 10, and you swipe across. This is going to go ahead and install that ROM for you. That is pretty much it. Uh, once the ROM installs, you're just going to reboot and you'll boot up. So I'm not going to really go too much more with this. This is a standard operating procedure for installing a ROM basically. There's nothing too exciting. It's just if you want to have those extra applications or not on your ROM. Uh, it does run very smooth. I do like it. Battery life's good. Um, very nice work there to uh, the developer of this sweet ROM. So anyway, I'm going to give you guys links to this in the video description as always over there at XDA and you will see all the information you guys need and check this out on your Galaxy Tab 7 inch. Hope you guys like this video. As always, hey please check me out at rootjunkie.com. Lots of great videos down there, much more than just this device. Cover a lot of devices and just random general stuff too for Android as it is. There you go guys from here, it's done, hit reboot, and you should boot up, plain and simple. Standard boot animation, I don't think he's got anything edited on that, but that is it. Once it boots up, give it a good five minutes probably to boot the first time, it does take a little bit of time to go through your setup procedure and you'll be good to go. Hope you guys like this video. Root Junkie, out.